Okay. Well, let's try this. Free will and determinism. Uh, it's the hardest part, just starting the video. I apologize. I'll probably never get up to speed. to address here in your comparison of females uh, paradox determinism and uh, first off I'll be Kind of up front, I do kind of feel like it was a bit of bait. Bait because it's so obvious that it's a matter of collecting information. Okay, now we can have 50% of the information. Think of it like, um, oh, what is it, sigma, values of sigma in science. It's been a while, I'm fairly certain it's sigma. Um, five degrees of certainty. Um, and we do, we get more and more, the more data we get, the more experiments we run, the more models we have, we just get more and more accurate. But overall, we do find uh, that these mathematical models that we're making for things, they are getting better and better. And in, in different ways, and in some ways they are incompatible. Um, but I don't think that's a failure on nature's part, just ours, obviously, because we still don't have enough information. I don't know where to look for it. You know, if we want to discover a theory of everything, um, which I think everybody who works in the field would like to see at least for all sorts of applications um, but not only just for you know maybe uh, converting things from one to the other you know energy different forms of energy to others maybe different materials to others or even different forces that's I mean, isn't that what we're essentially getting at? We could, uh, or even maybe some different properties, like uh, time. Maybe we could affect time. I don't think so. But, uh, maybe mass. We could manipulate mass. Manipulate uh, maybe time. Maybe there'll be some other things that are important. I don't want to get too far off. You understand what I mean? Everybody knows, you know, science knows that's where we're going. Physics, formulas, math. I mean, the better we get, the more math. Uh, formulas are, the more, more we're capable of manipulating things. I, I think 
think that's what most people fear. I think the free will thing is kind of, it's, I mean, fearing that people will lose that and then just think there's nothing to live for. I think that's kind of bullshit. Excuse me, but I do. No, I suppose I do. I can see it, but... We've always not known things. And I don't really want to completely admit it, but I think we may always not know things. Like, I don't, I'm thinking of like the past and black holes and lost information. I personally can't see a way of unwinding them, you know, simple ways, but that said, I'm sure there are people out there who are thinking about that, things that are uh, white that falls in to a black hole. We may never be able to uh, recover that, and that's okay. <laughs> um, or is it, you know, if you really want to say that you, if you really want to know everything, you might need that back or be able to predict anything, be able to predict with a, uh, I don't know, a sigma greater than 10. Greater than seven. I think, uh, I think seven's good enough for just about everybody. There's still plenty of uh, plenty of little things for sure. Wouldn't be that wouldn't be good enough some people. Anyway. Uh, let's talk to him. Let's talk about your video. Let's talk about you using Zeno's Paradox. Sort of bait people into responding to you. Because you're probably lonely, whatever you're doing. You're feeling intellectually challenged by people around you. seem bored. Yeah, I understand. You haven't been putting out videos like you usually do. That's what I watch most of them. But now and then. I do. And... Anyway, so, Zeno's Paradox, and how you use it, not so much in the video, but in the comments, it's kind of a closing statement on your argument. Should I repeat it? I should. I shouldn't think anything of it. But, try to say that yes, closing that gap in reality, <laughs> you got it all wrong, man. The reason I clicked on your video is because I thought that you would come to see that, that we can't close that gap, and you did. I'm sure that you did, because I know people have made this, uh, argument made this point in the past that we will never get all the information okay the more information we get the more information we can get the better our models the 
that are technology or computers. But we will never get it all. And that is well, personally kind of, kind of disheartening. But maybe if you look at it like the stuff that we can for sure never figure out, uh, a lot of that information is lost. <coughs> as far as any way I or anybody know, uh, you know, at this point. And uh, as much as I like to think that as at some point we may we may know enough to get that back. Don't even see it in an imaginable way. So, you know, it's paradox. I'm crossing the road. Crossing the road. Nice, nice view. A spot over there, far on the beach. That I like to go to to look at the island out there. I know if I walk through that, the grass is so wet, I'll be miserable for the rest of this walk. So I won't. See there, I chose. I had information. A version of myself that cared less or didn't think about that sort of thing, would have walked through that grass and would have walked with wet feet and would have, if, this, if I walked for a few hours, have got blisters on his feet and just dealt with it and lived with it. Wet feet. Walking. But I, I have experience. I have the information. Does having that information keep me from walking in the grass? Yes, it does. Is that bad? Not necessarily. Ooh, I've missed out on that, but now I'm over here. Look, if I had walked through the grass, I wouldn't be by these uh, volleyball courts. The big argument. From just a purely philosophical, I don't, I don't understand a purely philosophical question. I can't I'm kind of happy I can't have one. It would be nice to just switch off the math and science. And just, I don't know. It'd be less though, it'd be less. People are concerned about determinism, about all the supercomputers, and knowing the future, it feels really shitty. It almost feels like we're trapped. But the thing is, we have. We have always been trapped. Okay? The only source of freedom is in a lack of information. <sighs> but if somebody has it, then nobody has it. You know, nobody has that freedom. If somebody has the ability to gather information on a population, you know, or a planet, then what could you do? run from it. You can run from technology and that's what people will do. That's what fucking Luddites will do. That's what hippies will do. And that's the best. It's 
the best they can do. You know, I feel, feel kind of sorry for them. And sorry for that. Sorry for that. that I feel sorry for all of us. That we can't let go of that. We came from a lack of knowledge. Okay, all of our history, the farther back in history, the foundation of our history, you know, is people searching for knowledge. When we had so little, now we have such a tremendous amount, but it's nowhere near enough to start making the sort of uh, deterministic calculations to any degree, you know. Well, we're obviously making some. And they're not. You know, if you want to get into that, in a matter of time, a matter of the quantity of information in any system, relevant factors are important. You know, do we have to account for every hydrogen atom in this lake? Here in space, probably not. Take it as a collection that works. But there's that car hiding over there. Got a car hiding in the corner behind me. I guess it's important. It is important that people come to grips. You know what that, and uh, that we accept it. You know, more and more of our future is not going to be so much our own as it is going to be the computers, or maybe that's the problem. Maybe that that phrase itself. You know, like it's ours, because I'm an individual, aren't I? I am not part of a system. I am separate from it, and I choose my own destiny. I choose what air I want to breathe. I choose when my heart pumps. Fucking bullshit. Seriously. We are not separate. as we might and, and we have succeeded you know to some degree you can't be isolate yourself from any of this you die you know symbiotic system. we gotta bring some of it with us something Find some islands of resources out there. And we will, and people probably will, and they'll try to escape. Escape the past. Escape the queen. Escape the king. And I really do. I, I wish those people well. concerned as far as the formulas are concerned it's not going to change the truth you know it's not 
not an eye of God thing. There is that. People are concerned. Well, I'm really concerned, actually. The religious people are fine. Although it's not their, it's not their model. You know, they don't have money invested in determinism. They got money invested in prophets' messages, saying what that, what the mind. Morning. What the mind behind that? I really want. So, probably private speech, but you know, I'm gonna walk out here anyway. As a child, I walked down here quite a bit, so I just like it. I'm sure most people don't mind walking down the beach. It's a little loud, though. I do apologize for that. And it's a fair, fair distance. Another 50 meters or so. So, come on, do you fair doc? talk about the things that you talk about. Bait. Freaking bait. And I don't, I don't really mind. Obviously, I'm making the video. Please, keep a watch. What do you want? You want people to hear your name? want people involved in this conversation? Yeah, me too. I do. I do. But we'd have to spend a lot of time, and we will. We will spend a lot of time getting people up to speed on the latest. <coughs> the latest devices, the latest calculations. The latest, you know, people will hear about it and it you know, every time, just in one ear out the other, or, oh, that's interesting, and boom, you know, it's on something else, something more relevant, always, always something more relevant, you know, but there, there will come a time when people will fight for monarch. alive. Just wound up in the water. Why nature do its thing? Can't. It should, should be sympathetic, right? Oh, man. Terminus so cold. Leaving everything up to the world not getting involved. In the person to it, move on. Let's go out on my pier. Blair Street Park. Get the seagulls. This thing is rotten, man. It's getting worse and worse. <coughs> I don't think what is the solution unless it's planned to replace it regularly. Wood, wood, wood. Nature just wants it back. Right. As if we're separate. Yeah. Even I. I have a very real problem. The attitude I have. The way that I look at things. The way that I just comes out. Nature wanting it back from us. Humans built this pier. Human nature. Things. It was not the way. It's ugly. Just, uh. Mm -hmm. But. Yes. So let's. Refocus, stay on topic. 
what more is there? What more is there that the points? I suppose the shorter I make this, the more likely you would be to respond to it. The less satisfied I would be. So easy to get distracted. So many things to think about. So, and this is hard too because I don't have a person. I have to hear your voice or hear somebody else's voice to think about something or act as if I'm delivering a speech. You know, and there is an audience. I'm still not comfortable pretending that I am in front of an audience. Yeah. So, coffee would help too. I didn't have any coffee. Woke up, sat there for a half hour thinking about this. I don't think about this every morning, but I do think about making a video every morning. That's when I have the most desire to. But eventually I jump on my computer and get distracted. So, I'm kind of an advantage, you know, the beginning of the day rather than the end of the day. End of the days are good. Winding down. You know, it take a lot to wind down if you just woke up, even if it's just four hours of sleep. So, on. Why is this dumb? Why is your argument dumb? It is dumb. I've already explained it. It's obvious bait. Man, it's so obvious. It's bait because other people can, you know... Other people should have made that comparison. If somebody hasn't, it'd be silly if somebody hasn't, but if somebody probably has, you know, I would think somebody has, you know, the Sigma. Although, being a paradox, yeah. What's the point? Why not get people up to speed? Why not say we have a lack of information? You know, spare doc, primitive, you know, it's for fucking philosophy students. You know, it's old shit. Sure, I respect the people, just like in a thousand years, you know, people will say the same thing about us. Either they'll respect us for saying things first, or they'll disrespect us for not having enough information to make the right arguments. We don't, we don't yet have the right information. So I argue against free will or for determinism. Well, I want to argue for determinism because of its usefulness. That's really what I want to argue about. That's really what I want to inform people of, the usefulness of it. But it is unfortunate that we will use it against each other. And we will. The fucking markets, man. Obviously. For money. But can we see past that? Can we see that it's unimportant? It's not. It's not unimportant. It affects so many people. Shit. I don't know. 
makes me sad thinking about money, people trying to control things and use other people rather than, you know, sharing a good idea and then hyping people up about that idea and making them want to work on it. What we do is we make everything cost money so people have to work. And then, from there, you choose where you're going to work, knowing that you have to work. And I think that's wrong. I think that's the wrong way to motivate people. The wrong way to, uh, to use people. Because there's a right way to use people. Oh, gosh. Makes me sick. Makes me sick thinking about it. But it's going to happen. It is going to happen. It's already happened. We're just getting better and better at it, like everything. We're getting better at making boats and piers and, you know, understanding of the weather. Understanding the ocean and the atmosphere. Understanding our relationship to the trees and the oxygen generation and our dependence on them until we can replace them. Now that'll be sad, but I do think that should happen. I like that. You could argue about that. They serve a function, a function that we could recreate with industry. <sighs> they serve a lot of functions, let's, let's be honest. I guess, you know, for us right now, and our trees are, are pretty, and they're useful. They produce a resource that we build our homes out of, and our piers, some of our boats, things. <coughs> Now, I suppose, it was a good, a good debater, a good arguer, a good person would know that other people are going to have arguments, right? So what was your reason? And what did you plan? What was your follow-up? You figured bring this up, people are going to make other points, and then what? And you'll have something to say about that. Nope, nope, nope. So, I guess, I don't really want to argue against free will. Well, let's put it this way. It, you know, I've already said it. It's a lack of knowledge. Okay, acting, acting on a lack of knowledge. Um, but still, you, you can't make a choice without some idea of a direction. There is so much knowledge there that we always have, that we always make choices on, okay? We're just not going far enough down that tree ahead of time. You know, the choices, the branches. We're not going far enough ahead when we say, oh, I'm acting on free will. And no, we don't have to pretend that it exists, you know. We don't have to pretend that it exists. We do pretend that it exists, but we don't, we don't have to. We can come up with other names for it identify different aspects of it until it becomes an obsolete term and that's what I think will happen but it's going to take a lot of time and yes religious people you know the types of uh, today's religious people 
in the future uh, will be the sort of people who will be arguing for things like free will. Um, you know. Gosh, isn't that weird? Kind of a flip thing, you know. But it's not. We're dabbling with all these concepts and we're not putting them in the right categories and they they stick there for a long time, you know, in the wrong category. Like the concept of fate and God and omniscience. Excuse me. Get involved with, get involved with the people at whatever degree that you're comfortable with. How about that? And let's make kids more comfortable, or not. Or not. Maybe there'll be sort of private schools. No, they won't teach that thing. Maybe public schools won't teach that thing, and only private schools will. How about that? How's that for elitism? Well, you got to pay a million dollars a year for your kid to go to school, and then learn the factors involved in, you know, what it takes. I imagine that a, a lot of the people right now who are who are up there as far as a, you know wealth wise and education wise and that lifestyle they're, they're not learning a lot of these factors, a lot of the factors, you know, a lot of the aspects that they're learning. You know, while, while the school may be teaching facts, the atmosphere, the culture that they're in, the, uh, you know, the people, the words that they choose, the uh, things that they emphasize, attitudes that they emphasize, you know, will be those of of controlling other people, controlling conversation, um, negotiating so that you get the best deals and, you know, that sort of thing. And we try, we try to, try to teach our kids that anyway in public schools, you know. At least how, how to be useful. But, let's be honest, I mean, we are, right now we're still based on a, a large uh, base of the pyramid, working class people that do things. You know, maybe that, that's what we're trapped in. Just kind of thinking like that, like, doesn't, doesn't have to be that way, obviously. It goes so many ways. And, you know, I wish, I wish people could live uh, with all the options. You know, all the extremes, but look, look, you know, the world tried, uh, you know, communism, socialism, Marxism, even that, where would that have gone? Moisture in the air, back of the mind, so. <sighs> Good. Probably not.
not the way. Not the way to think about it. <coughs> I am. I think I am the furthest away from anywhere. Where I can get coffee. Uh, something to drink. I want to make more points. I want to talk faster. I want to give other people more information. Whether it's to argue against against determinism for free will or against free will and for determinism. I say for determinism. No, I'm I'm okay with people. We're still we're still figuring this out. You wanna keep you know, arguing. But look at what can I what can I say right now? How about the uh the comparison of free you got that so wrong. And you, you did it on purpose. That's why I don't want to focus on that. Because I know you did it on purpose. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Let's just go up this way. I'm going to walk up Blair Street. I was going to walk down that way. Not down the beach, but on US 23. Maybe, maybe instead I will go up a little street. I'll try to talk. So, it was stupid. Was it not stupid? Let me try. Well, I won't, but let me try to pretend that it was a valid point to make. Um, the crossing the road. We know we crossed the road. That's why Zeno's Paradox kind of bullshit. But if you focus on the little details and you don't think about reality, you know, the one-to-one -one time Just good enough to, to to get people like me to come out and say this, what I've said for the last 40, 40 minutes. I've been trying to say. I do, I do want to try to take it seriously. It's difficult, you know. Good at pretending. I suppose that's that's what makes people, you know, people without information. Excuse me again. But yeah, it makes people without information do. See, they're not they're not pretending though. There's an important point to make. They're not. They don't have the knowledge and they're pretending not, or, you know, they are not pretending to have free will in a deterministic universe. They're just going with what they have. There is a difference there. It's, it's, 
that's an important point to make that I should have made half an hour ago. People, people do their things. Now, when somebody brings up free will or determinism, then yes, in some cases, people do have to think about it. You know? It's kind of, it's kind of unfair. Should we, should we do that to people? All those people out there. I mean, it'll make fun conversation, but at the end of the day, what it should really be about is what are the people with the most ability uh, to gather information and to use it to make predictions and uh, whether they're you know, more than likely using it to make money from it or sell stuff. <sighs> Heavyweight. I don't, want to, I don't want to put that on right now, but people will. People will have to put that on, and that's that's really unfortunate. Because when people do, uh, you know, put that weight on, they're not they're not going to want to. Or they're going to want more. And, and is that is that what you want? You want people wanting more. Fairly certain you do. You want, you want people to want more for themselves. Is that, is that it's going to be good overall? You know? 